Hello, how are you? And welcome to Road Odyssey. I am Burke. Hope you are having a nice day. And please subscribe if you don't mind. And thank you to all of y'all who have and put up with my craziness. I do the best I can with the information that I have and hope I do not ever lead y'all too far out into the weeds. And this may be another case. So I've been noticing a lot more uh, articles popping up over the last week or two in regard to the E-Ray and it must be because uh, the Z06 coming out soon or being revealed soon at the very least so I thought you know what I'll investigate this some and give you all what little bit of information I have and uh, hopefully we have some new information that is interesting so uh, let's see what we have here we go the Corvette's Grand Sport name has been left to die. GM, for a short period in 2015, also let the E-Ray name die and the Corvette E-Ray name die. In December of 2020, GM Authority published this article about, well, the Manta Ray name is gone and that they will use the E-Ray name instead. Car and Driver also supported this. I did go out and look for the E-Ray name itself on the Patent and Trademark Office website. And there's the E-Ray name. So we know that E-Ray or Corvette E-Ray are possible. Apparently, Chevy wants this E-Ray to compete against cars like the Porsche 918 and the Acura NSX. The 918 is a hybrid a gas engine and electric motors, a combined 887 horsepower, 944 pound-feet of torque, 211 mile per hour on the top, nearly costing a million dollars. It comes in somewhere around $845,000 for the pay base. The NSX twin turbocharged 3.5 liter V6 with the electric motor, Total output is at least 573 horsepower. The price tag on this, at least $160,000. I really do hope that whatever the E-Ray turns out to be, that it is definitely below this price range of the Porsche and the NSX, and still a very healthy horsepower and handling package. You can see from the C8 Corvette blog and some of the YouTube channels in the past, not so much the present, but in the past, have really gotten a lot of these dates wrong. So just go with the flow and let's see what happens. There have been recent videos and articles about all the various Corvettes that are coming out. You can look at all that stuff, but take it with a grain of salt. The E-Ray may have been spotted as far back as 2019, but although I find these articles, some of them I find hard to believe, so I, I'm just not really sure what to tell you about all these old articles. And furthermore, as you look at all this stuff, you know, some of them have the wrong pictures, like they're using some old Z06 pictures. So, you know, even looking at the new articles, you got to just relax and just have fun with it. I can tell you right now the Motor One articles have nothing in them that's worthwhile. This article from Gear Patrol, still all hype, not a lot in there. I really didn't see a lot in the muscle cars and trucks, even though it said exclusive details. Yeah, not much. Auto Evolution and Motor Authority both had these articles saying that they seriously saw the E-Ray with the NSX. Seeing these test mules with the NSX makes you think that they might be test mules for the E-Ray. 
but you can't tell from the body style. Now, on YouTube, you can find this from Dr. Gumo Lunatic, theoretically showing a E-ray, but this is actually old footage from March of 2021, and it's supposed that it's actually older than that. Next up, I'm going to give you a timeline of spy shots. These are pictures from 2019. Again, the only indication that this might be an E-ray are the cables coming out of the front hood. These pictures are from 2020. Again, this seems like it could be an E-ray. You got the plugs on the front and even on the rear. And with all this other stuff on it, who knows? Some articles tried to make you believe that because of the equipment on the back of the Corvette, that this was certainly an E-ray. But let me tell you, this is smog testing equipment. This picture is from early 21. This is the exact same car republished two years later. These pictures were published or republished in the middle of 2021. As you look at these pictures, I read an auto blog article saying that a lot of these are definitely not E-Ray hybrids. They say that when you look at the vents on the front, they are a, I guess you would say, a signature that you would only see for combustion engines. I don't know how they get to that conclusion, but that's what Autoblog said. They also said that they haven't even seen many of possible E-rays, if any at all, on public roads yet. Now, in the Car Buzz's August 17, 2021 article, when they referred to the March 19, 2021 Germany uh, video and pictures from Dr. Gumo Lunatic, they said that their sources confirmed that it is not an E-ray. They say that the E-ray isn't developed enough uh, to even get into a 2023 model year development process and to just be out in Germany testing. I do believe that some of these could be E-Ray test mules, even if the Ultium battery packs are not ready. Because the Chevy Silverado EV version is coming out really soon, these Ultium battery packs have got to have already been completed and ready to go. From the articles that I've read, the Silverado electric truck should debut this year, 2021, and it's estimated to go on sale by the middle of 2022. This tells me that the Corvette should have some form of the Ultium battery packs that it can be using at least by now for testing their mules. And looking at the Inside EV article, you can tell that the current Corvette is set up easily for electrification. The lithium ion battery pack needed to power the system can go into the Corvette's center tunnel. Some of the estimations is that the battery pack might weigh in at about 50 to 100 pounds. It's supposed that the car will use the new GM Ultium drive motors and either one or two will reside in the front, up in the front trunk area and help power the front wheels, they say, quote unquote, on demand. Now from this other picture, you can see that the Corvette's front knuckles contain a pass-through cover where the Ultium drive motor's axle shaft could pass through to the hub to provide the EAWD, the electric all-wheel drive, to the front end. Looking at the 2020 Corvette owner's manual, it shows us a fuse block that includes a lithium-ion battery module. From all of these articles, here are the things that still have not really changed. A price tag of under $100,000, more of a grand tour car than a race car like the Z06, should have a wide body package, wider wheel and tire combination, 
Of course, the electric motor or motors that'll give it over 100 to 150 more horsepower, maybe a little over 100, 110 pound feet of torque. So the total output should be somewhere between 600 and 650 horsepower. The balance of the car will be more neutral and likely there will be a little bit of a front storage area still. And the debut of the E-Ray may not be until 2023 at the 70th anniversary of the nameplate or because of all the COVID and everything else going on, it could possibly be up into 2024 that it might be revealed. We really just don't have any idea. All right, that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I appreciate that as well. The E-Ray could be a really, really fantastic and cool car. So really look forward to seeing it. Yes, it's going to be very expensive, no matter how you slice it. Um, these days, we need every penny we need to get food and stay healthy. So spending money on really expensive cars like this is tough, at least for the majority of us. So anyway, fingers crossed that it's uh, a really nice car and uh, affordable. So I kind of like the idea of uh, Chevrolet, maybe Ford in the future, kind of uh, sticking it to the supercar people and giving us options, at least things that we could maybe look forward to at some time in our life. So anyway, cool stuff. Y'all have a fantastic day. And I will see you later. Bye.